Happy New Year! Since it's the perfect time to make a resolution at the beginning of the year, and especially a resolution to become vegan, I figured I would share with you guys how I became vegan nearly eight years ago, and my journey, and hopefully that can inspire you guys to actually give it a try, or if you've already been vegan for a while, to of course stick with it and take your vegan lifestyle to the next level in 2019. So I've been vegan now for almost eight years. I cannot wait until it's like 10, so I can have like a 10 year vegan anniversary party. But I knew about veganism growing up because my dad was actually raised vegan in the 60s and the 70s because he and a lot of his family uh, were a part of this Hebrew Israelite group, which is like a religious group. Um, it's similar to Judaism. It's kind of like Nation of Islam, but with Judaism for black people in America. But anyway, they're vegan. So my dad was raised that way, and when I was being raised, we didn't eat any red meat, but my dad was no longer part of that group, and he was no longer vegan. But I always had family members who were, and so I knew what it was. And I had had their food, and I knew it was delicious, and I grew up eating a lot of vegan food, especially old fashioned vegan food. But I only knew about veganism as a like religious thing. So not ever did I think I would become vegan. I never thought it was for me. I thought it was only if you're this religion. But I went off to college. In college I started eating better. I started becoming more plant-based. I eventually became vegetarian. And then I moved to New York City and I got a job at a vegan restaurant. And it was there for the first time that I started meeting vegans from all sorts of backgrounds who were vegan for animal welfare and for environmental reasons and of course for their health as well. Within a year of working there, I also decided that I had to be vegan. And that's really how I started this journey, becoming vegan and becoming so passionate about living this way and feeling so amazing and just feeling like I need to express my passion with the rest of the world. Growing up, I didn't actually understand the suffering that animals go through to get to your plate. So whether that be you're having dairy, which you know cows are not killed to have dairy, but the way they live, the way they're exploited is just heinous. Same thing with meat, obviously. So I started learning about how animals were tortured and exploited and being used for their bodies, and I just could not support that anymore. Of course, that extends to all animals, um, of course humans as well, but I know for a lot of people um, that we forget that like fish and you know sea animals are actually animals, so they also feel pain and are suffering as well. And then of course later, I started learning about the environmental reasons that one would become vegan. And these are all connected. Like if you're exploiting billions and billions and billions of animals, of course you're also exploiting the planet, the earth, that sustains us all and causing all sorts of harm, whether it be through factory farming or overfishing of wild um, sea animals or even just fish farming. There's so many ways that we exploit animals and also exploit the land. And of, of course also exploit the people who work in those industries, which I learned about later. So all these things are connected. So for me, ultimately being vegan is mostly about the ethics of not consuming those products. And then of course, health as well. So why do I use the term vegan? A lot of people say plant-based now, but I specifically like the term vegan because it, it's very all-encompassing. I think it's much more clear. You say vegan, you mean you don't eat animal any animal products, you don't wear animal products, you don't buy them. Um, whereas plant-based, I feel like is more transitional, and I like to just be someone who's clear about what I am, and also to show other people that you can live this vegan lifestyle, you can be clear about it, you can be thriving, you can be happy, all those things. Okay, so since veganism is mostly about consumption, right? What do you buy to put into your body? It's also very important to remember that you're not just buying what you eat. You also buy what you wear and what you, you sit on and what you use in your house. So clothing, accessories, your furniture, your makeup, your skincare products. When I first became vegan, I was only thinking about food, but a few months later, I started thinking about my clothing as well. Maybe I shouldn't be buying leather anymore. Also, I started thinking more about not just the non-human animals that are being exploited, but the humans as well. So I don't buy fast fashion anymore. So when you're vegan, that is like the next step 
um, next logical step for a lot of us. And I think it's important to strive for that too, not to just think, oh, I'm vegan just so I can help myself be healthier, but also to think more about how you can help the planet, other animals, and other people around you as well. So for me, the logical, most important next step in a vegan lifestyle is really remembering and being aware of how everything is connected and how it really makes sense that if you're eating in a way that's better for animals, that doesn't exploit and kill billions and billions and billions of animals every year, and that's also better for the environment, that doesn't require us growing the majority of our crops just to feed the animals that we're gonna kill. It makes sense that that way of eating is also better for your health, right? It's all connected. And I think it's also really important to remember how it's connected to other humans as well, because obviously for most of us when we're talking about being vegan, we're mostly thinking about non-human animals. But like I said before, humans are animals as well. So just thinking about how all these systems of oppression and exploitation are connected is really helpful in helping you make more conscious decisions about what you buy and just be more aware of how you're living and your contribution to this life. My next step uh, in my vegan journey is definitely, of course, like we're raising a vegan family. I'm having a baby soon, as you know, but also continuing to be open-minded and to be conscious of my habits and how I'm affecting others and to be critical of myself and just try to be a better person. Being vegan is not about being perfect, um, but it's definitely about being aware, or at least it should be about being aware and prioritizing awareness and consciousness of your actions and how they affect others. So that's really the main next step for me. So that's been my vegan journey thus far and I'm super excited to see it grow and to raise a vegan child and to continue with Sweet Potato Soul as well. But I would love to hear you guys' reasons for becoming vegan. I know everybody just has comes to it from so many different perspectives. So share why you became vegan. Also, if you've been vegan for a really long time, like how has it changed for you? I think it's super important to keep in mind that this is not some trivial thing um, for a lot of us, that this is a true lifestyle. This is definitely a way of living that can fulfill you and nourish you in so many other ways other than just the delicious and very healthy food. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.